with Olympic champion in the sport of skeleton and a captain in the Calgary Fire Department, Duff Gibson, also the founder of Dark Horse Athletic, along with your wife, Jen. Tell us what right. is Dark Horse. Dark Horse Athletic, in simplest terms, it's a kids multi-sport program. It is also about teaching kids, I think more than anything, that this is fun. It's about fostering a growth mindset and if you put a little work into something and get a little better and you focus on process, that happens fairly quickly, that's fun too, that's rewarding and that's hopefully going to lead kids into a, an active lifestyle. Okay, this is a very tight circle. If you're in here, you have to be doing dabs. And you and Jen saw a need for this because of why? Well, you mentioned my Olympic background and my last experience with the Olympics was coaching at the Sochi Olympics. And I went from that, what you would call a high performance environment, and then I watched my own kids who were, you know, this is 2014, pretty young. I watched their sporting experiences and I saw behaviors with an eight-year-old, we would never tolerate at the Olympic level. And I thought, we're missing the point here. We should be not worrying about who the best is and fostering a growth mindset and making kids want to do this and come back. Because that's how you get a better athlete anyway. Mm -hmm. And that's how you foster you know, a love of physical activity, which should be step one. You like competing against your friends. That's fun. Making new friends. Making new friends. You get fit. Do you like being fit? Because you get better, you, you, you find that fun, hey? What kind of challenges? Fun challenges. So it was kind of like what we were talking about last week though, where if it's too easy, it's not as fun as if it's a little bit challenging. I believe very strongly that if you teach a kid that this is fun, then everything else takes care of itself. And I think we forget sometimes that the point of physical education in schools and the point of youth sport is a healthy, active lifestyle. It's not to raise the world's greatest 12-year-old anything. It's, there's a curriculum in, in phys ed, but if you don't also teach a love of physical activity, it defeats the purpose. So fun is, is number one, and do they want to come back next week? That's the short-term goal. We have some really good instructors, and we have graduates of Mount Royal's physical literacy program, and we have teachers, and we have athletes, and everyone sort of brings something different to the table. So on any given night, we usually have a rotation of four different instructors. Essentially, you're limited by what you can do with the equipment we have in a gymnasium. So it's always changing, and it's always different. And who can participate in Dark Horse? Well, anyone, anyone within the age range, I guess. Uh, seven is about as young as we go, and they tend to move on to other things by 12 or 13. The training that you're providing, how is it different from any other club or program? The making sure it's fun and understanding why we're here and wanting to come back, that's, that's probably the single most important aspect. Speed skaters who teach low walking, the hockey players, the ringette players, and the skiers, they benefit from that. You wouldn't get that unless you're in a, a speed skating club. We teach the running specific drills, which you wouldn't find unless you were in a track club. We challenge them as individuals. I think what else sets us apart is at the end, we acknowledge those who've put in an effort. Because quite frankly, when you're nine years old, 10 years old, how good you are to, at a specific skill is, is no predictor of how good you could become. What is, is effort and dedicating yourself to something. So we acknowledge that. They know why they're here. It's for fun. And we need to not train that out of them, essentially. That's, that's my belief. I think that's one of the challenges of sport. We push our kids because we want them to be successful. And I, you know, you and I are no different but we push them and push them and it takes the fun out of it and that defeats the purpose. Whereas the most successful athletes that I've known are also the ones who you can't drag out of the gym. They are itching to go back and they're daydreaming about it all the time. For a grown up we say passion, for a kid we say fun, but it's really the same thing. It's really about enabling our population to realize the benefits of being active, which can lead to that long-term healthy and happy life. What are the programs that you offer here at Dark Horse Athletic? 
Well, we have a Dark Horse 1 and 2 program, which essentially is just a difference between the ages. And if you've been in Dark Horse 1 for a while, then we try to challenge you more in the Dark Horse 2. And we put those kids together and maybe we'll do stair hops instead of lunge walks or something along those lines. You want to make sure that you're challenging everybody. And because part of the program is convincing them that that's the fun part, is to you challenge you whatever level that you're at. We've just launched something I'm really excited about, and the website is learnsports.ca. Easy to remember. Yes. The idea is it's a series of videos, and I've had some wonderful helpers like Katrina LeMay Doan demonstrating the component parts of sports, skills, things that, that develop physical literacy. It's a free online video reference for teachers. My idea was this, if you're a teacher and maybe you're a phys ed teacher, maybe you're not, and you've never done rugby before in your life, on our website we have four videos of Heather Moyes, who's in the World Rugby Hall of Fame, showing you how to hold the ball, how to receive a pass, give a pass, etc. So you don't have to know it to teach it or to make it part of a phys ed class. Great idea, Duff, and again, filling that need. And I know the schools will be so happy to hear that they have just another resource to try and get their students active. What has the response been to your program? And like, do you have measurable outcomes at this point? You're only your second year, third year? Yes, we're just finishing our third year right okay. now. And so in terms of a measurable outcome, I would, I would say number one is, do they want to come back? We sold out before the season started this year, so it's great from that perspective. How can parents, how can they get in touch and how can they be a part of Dark Horse Athletic? DarkHorseAthletic.ca or the component part of that for teachers, which is a part of the same website, is LearnSports.ca. Info at DarkHorseAthletic.ca. Send us an email, look us up on the website and tell your kids' teachers and come and check us out. And if you would like to learn more about this sport or any other activity, just check out Sport Calgary's website at sportcalgary.ca.